The thing that is in room 101 is the worst thing in the world. New kids on the block. Sonia, I don't like Sonia. Jason Donovan. Beatles. Sorry to be predictable. Eric Jameson. The Birdie Song. Connie Minogue. That guy Terry off the word. Ruby Wax. Mr. Bean. Terry Beetle. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Room 101, BBC Radio's antidote to desert island discs. Each week a guest chooses a list of their least favourite things, animal, vegetable, mineral or beetle, for me, Nick Hancock, to decide if they're awful enough to be included in Room 101, BBC Radio's Museum of the Dismal and Dire. And this week's guest is broadcaster and musician John Walters. Musician? John? Yeah, musician. Oh, good, yeah. Okay, and the first piece of music is a natural, and I can't believe anybody hasn't chosen it before. You talk like Marlene Dietrich, and you dance like Zizi Jarmer. Your clothes are all made by Balmain. And there's diamonds and pearls in your hair, yes there are. Your name, it is heard in high places. You know the Aga Khan. He sent you a racehorse for Christmas. And you keep it just for fun, for a laugh. <laughs> Your underpants are by Matisse. What a load of <laughs> wallop. But the top, Bad sign, that record, straight away. You know, you could have seen that at the end of the 60s. Is that when it came out, end of the 60s? 69, like 69. Yeah. Awful business, because it set the tone for what was to come. We didn't see that. It was a little acorn from which a mighty oak tree grew. Because mm. it was all that silly names. You know, designer names. All you got to say was something foreign. You know, your trousers, Jean-Paul Sartre. Ha, 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 ha. What's it mean? <laughs> Nothing. But it led to the 80s when people suddenly started to buy tatty clothes and stick a label on there. Well, it's the sort of thing that any song that you can hear the words in, you're meant to think's clever. There's people mm. say, oh, oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, oh, yeah that's, that's, that's good. true. I hadn't thought of that. It's sort of post-rock and roll, yeah. isn't it? Instead of, oh, it's about my hula, which yeah. nobody could understand. Oh, a friend of Fashi Distel. Oh, that means something. Ha, ha, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. a little meaningful. Uh, oh, you keep it just for a laugh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know that sort of person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, now, yeah. I hate that, and I think... You should grab him by his silly moustache. Peter Starset, obviously, is his Peter name. Peter Starset, and pull him into room 101. I'd rather insist that we start off with, you know, 15 Love to Me. You've got absolutely no problem with it going into room yeah, 101. Okay. Let's open the door and hear what we can hear it going into join. Here it goes. Music was my first love And it will be my last Horrendous. John Miles, is it? Of course, John, John Miles. Naturally. He's one famous record. Mm. This is my first hit record, and it will be my last. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, right, straight on, and your next choice, please. Twenty tiny fingers, twenty tiny toes, two angel faces, each with a turned-up nose. Oh, it looks like my cute little girl on top and yet the one's got a big false bottom exactly like his pop 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 you see, Nick, now, now you might say, this is innocent enough. Twenty tiny fingers, what a sweet little thought. Unless it's on one baby, of course, and you've got problems there, naturally. But there were a stack of these baby records. The other things like Buffalo Billy in a cowboy suit. Sure looks cute. Ah, sure can shoot. <laughs> Why are you bringing <laughs> these songs into my life? It's terrible. There were things like Guy Mitchell had a horrendous one. I think we've Feed got up. up, how did it go? Oh, Feed up, had him on the boat floor. Let's hear him laugh. The incredible thing about that is some of the lyrics. I think Oliver Reed should bring this out. <laughs> I've been known to gamble, take a little drink. Then there's a night I had a fight and ended up in the clink. But now my hooting days are done. Hooting. Gotta be the man. He thinks I am, because I love my son. And there's always laughter in it. 
Did you notice the first one, Old McCogan, 20 tiny fingers, 20 tiny toes? <laughs> you didn't notice that bit? What is that about? Well, she was known as the girl with the laugh in her voice. <laughs> so all her songs, you know, whatever she was doing, if she was singing, I don't know, the death marsh, <laughs> <laughs> she got the laugh in her voice, you know, it didn't make yeah. any difference. And I hated that phony prancing around, you know, the long way. Hate what, what, babies, songs about babies, I disliked babies when I was a baby. Other babies look stupid and they still do. Well, I'm sadly not going to allow that because oh. uh, you've, you've overstepped oh. the mark by oh. picking two songs. Two uh, songs? Yeah. Well, I mean, the other one was only illustrative, you know, of a cult at the time. That's, I picked this to represent. You're outside your remit, bad oh. luck. Oh, no. There's an end to it. Okay. Oh, well, 15 off. Next one. We're going to talk about your least favourite television programme, John. Would you like to tell us what that is? Trouble is... See, trouble is, I'm a fan of what you might call, like, the good-bad. You know what I mean? I, I, I thought, when, when you called and said, pick a few things and come into the studio, I thought, oh, yeah, obvious. They used to be one of these Harry Seacombe kind of uh, Sunday night um, music programmes where they, they, they fulfil their commitment to have something religious on, but they don't want people to switch off, obviously, so they leave mums on. Nowadays, it's Harry Seacombe. But there used to be a classic on, I think, Granada. It had Jess Yates playing the organ for a start, and he'd introduce them, and then there'd be something like the Beverly Sisters in a ruined cathedral set singing Bless This House, or Twenty Tiny Fingers. It didn't seem to matter. Yeah, you know, but, they, but then they, they... I'd say, what a terrible programme that should go in, but mm, I'd like to see it again. And suddenly I thought, what is it that I watch that I go, oh, no, Steps, what are they doing it? And I thought, right to reply. Not the programme, but the bit where it starts. If you'd have come from Mars and you thought, Hello, uh, what's this program? Right to reply. It gives you a bit of a clue. Then it starts. And the music starts with all that sort of bingle bongle, bingle bongle, mingle mangle, bingle bongle, getting louder and louder and faster going bingle bongle, bingle. And suddenly the images come up and there's like, it starts with what appears to be the, the late great jazz clarinetist, soprano saxophonist Sidney Bechet looking through a hole for no reason known to man. <laughs> but that cuts very quickly to somebody who seems like a sort of animated robot, all jerky motions, and he's laughing for no reason, silently. And you think, what is this program? And then there's a globe. Then he goes back and laughs again. Then there's a fish. And then there's what appears to be the Milky Bar Kid. There's a piece of steak. The steak's being cut. What is this? Fish, steak, surf and turf. What is this program? <laughs> what are we replying Cookery, to here? Yes, Jesus comes up. Then after Jesus, there's a weightlifter. Flexes his biceps. You think, what? The man comes up again and goes, laugh, 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 laugh. And he goes, needle, 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 boom. You think, it's an incredible program. And then it's this woman at a desk with a couple of dissatisfied punters saying, why, oh, why? And you think... <laughs> Hardly worse these. So I'd like that to go in because I think it sets a, it's design a codswallop. A couple of women then say, do we have too much of Andy and Fergie on? It's not what, bingity bingity bing, steak, steak, laugh, laugh. Well, presumably the credits were made for a completely different programme. Yeah, in my opinion, they were left over. Yeah. Left over from something. Probably Jonathan Ross now. Jonathan's Drugs coming Drugs watch or something yeah, like that. could be. Easy, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not going to go in. Oh. Tragically. Because, I mean... Just the start. I'd like to put the credits in. But not the whole programme, just wait till it goes... Bing, 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 bing. I can't divorce the credits from the programme itself. That's oh, the idea of credits sort of thing. Oh, you'll find. Moving the goalposts. Yeah, well, that's, oh, that's my job. You. That's yeah, what I'm yeah, here for. If the goalposts much. are there, I'll move them. OK, OK. You yeah, know, it doesn't go in because, in a way, right to reply is a sort of forerunner in 101. It's the right to say something's rubbish. So that's fair enough. That Your means. decision is final. Yeah, that's I it. I have to accept that. Come on, then. Next one. Music, please, maestro. <laughs> No, Mother. Miss Spear is gone. Well, who was that playing? Well, I was, Mother. <laughs> what we didn't hear on that was the bit, the sort of good side of it was the piano talking. I mean, it's Bach, his magic yeah, piano. You look as if you've never heard yeah. it before. The reason I want that is I was sent to and sort of wanted to go to piano lessons. I hated them. I wanted to play things, but really, like, I really want to play jazz or something, you know, and just pick the instrument up and play. You know, let it go, hey, hey, you know, like they do on the Glenn Miller story, things you went to see at the pitches. They just seem to, hey, hey, let's play, boys, do the show right here. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. And it just went. Yeah. Well, that's what it's like. But I went for lessons, and all these awful tunes called things like, you know, the bee's wedding, you know, and like the grasshopper's holiday, you know, and...